Hi everyone, Matt Chapman here for Sun Racing. So the news has broken today that the champion jockey, Ashi Murphy, has tested positive for cocaine in France uh, during July. Uh, this is clearly a very serious news story for our champion jockey, for in many ways the man uh, a lot of people look up to in the sport as the person who's going to lead the sport in the jockey's ranks for many years to come. Ashin called me earlier on today and told me that this news was going to break. And I said to him, OK, you know, we'll wait for the news story to break and I'll keep it to myself for the time being. And the reason I mentioned that is that I feel that I have a good relationship with Murphy. On the one hand, a working uh, relationship, but... You know, I would like to consider Ashi Murphy a friend, even though we are slightly different ages. And um, certainly I have huge, huge respect for our champion jockey. Uh, Ashin told me point blank, he had never, ever taken drugs in his life. Now you have to remember, this is not like an episode of 24. Um, it's not that Jack Bauer is suddenly going to turn up with some sort of glass that Ashin has once drunk out of that's got the remnants of cocaine from his lips or something along those lines. Um, so the truth of the matter is that in these cases, when you get these positive samples, you have to take the word of the person. As I say, I've known Ashin for a long time now. If he tells me he has not done this, I believe him. So now we wait and we see what happens. He's going to obviously appeal. It shouldn't affect his chances of keeping his jockey's championship title uh, this time around. Uh, I'm led to believe that Sheikh Fahad uh, will support Murphy 100%. Sheikh Fahad, of course, his big boss. Um, and Sheikh Fahad and his family very much see Ashin as family. Um, indeed, as a lot of us do now, because Ashin is a real character and we need people like him in this sport to sell the sport to the future. Now, of course, we do not want anyone selling the sport to the future who's involved with drugs. So I can only emphasize that I've spoken to the man. I take the man at his word. Murphy says he has never taken drugs. I believe him.